Twitter, this is DBT, and alright, this is a very different type of video than what I usually upload. Um, like I uploaded a few weeks ago one video about this game of a race that was pretty interesting. Um, so, alright, I'll give you some context as to why I'm doing this. I recently found my love for racing games again. Um, I used to play them a lot when I was a kid and I totally forgot about it. I guess I got into first person shooters and all my interest went on that side. However, like I said recently, I found the love for, for this type of games again. Not necessarily just the mobile version like what you're seeing on screen right now, but actually also on PC and playing with a wheel and all of that kind of nonsense. It's been a lot of fun for me to rediscover that side of my, of my gaming taste. So, as such, I play this game quite a bit, like I said, being on a mobile game, it means that I also get to play it a lot when I'm commuting. So that's why I have a lot of a, a fair amount of experience with this game, and there's some situations that I thought like, hey, you know what, it, this is, this is kind of fun, like that video that I uploaded um, of that interesting race. Uh, so the point is, I'm just explaining why I'm doing this, and that you may actually see a little bit more of this. Uh, whether this is popular content or not, which I highly doubt, I still enjoy uh, playing this game and, you know, giving some thoughts as to what it was happening, because the main thing about this game is that it's fun while you're playing the single player, but it only takes you so far. However, the real, the real meat of the game lies in the multiplayer. And it's a very, you know, mixed experience, because this being a free-to-play game means that people that have spent quite a bit of cash on this game really have the best cars, the best upgrades, the best everything. However, if you jump into the game with the idea that, you know, you're not going to be first place very often and you just want to have some races and see how you can do and, you know, all of that, then this experience can be really, really fun. So, with that in mind, um, all these races that you're going to be seeing, not this one, this one just was the, the event for the Valhalla, so this, this is just something that I put in the background while I was giving you this long introduction. The point is that the races that you're going to be seeing is me playing multiplayer just to try to reach the pro... whatever it's called, pro... league? I have no idea. Uh, in multiplayer, based on your performance, it's um, the rewards that you're going to get at the end of the season. And some of those rewards are pretty good and uh, a way for you to get some good stuff in the game. So anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a long road, but in this particular session, I decided, you know what, I have a bunch of boosters that I've been saving for a while, so I might as well use them and do a bunch of multiplayer races. And you're gonna see that actually some of them went pretty well, some others not so much. But anyway, that's enough of an introduction for this, um, and I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna be giving you a little bit of commentary here and there, because last time that I did the video I was using text, and honestly that just makes me really lazy, I, I don't want to do that. So it's easier for me if I'm just talking over it, I just don't want to be blabbering. And also, by the way, the music on the background that is not going to be very often, just uh, here and there to fill some gaps. Um, it's royalty-free music and get used for me to get used to me using royalty-free music in these videos because this game has a fantastic soundtrack, but all of it is copyrighted music. So you know what happens in YouTube when you do that. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump into the race and I'll give you my thoughts on what was happening. One thing you may notice during this race is, is the, actually the fact that unlike what the game wants you to do, I try to avoid wrecking other racers. I don't like doing that. I don't like when they do it to me. But the reality is that the game really wants you to do it. That's kind of one of the main functions of the game. So right at the beginning in this one, you'll see that I perform accidentally, really, two wrecks. One right here. That's the first one. And then the second one, just because I bump him to this guy, boom, he's gone. And then something else funny happens over here. The, see that the guy is in the first place right there? Then he messes up the jump and boom, he's gone. Now, that was a McLaren something. I don't know all the the, the uh, models of the cars, but that was a really, really tough car. It's a really fast one that under regular circumstances would beat my Lamborghini Veneno. So I got myself lucky in that one. And right about here, somebody quits the game. You can see the blue message on the right. And that's something that you're going to see very often in multiplayer race. As soon as they see that they're not going to do well in the race, they just quit. And I understand the sentiment. Uh, maybe because of boosters or whatever. Sometimes people are like, yeah, I'm losing this one. Might as well just go to the next race and call it a day. So I, I see that. But in this particular session, I was running with, um, two, with a bunch of... Actually, 
I had one hour boosters. Boosters increase your nitro capacity and the overall performance of your car and you start also with nitro. So I had the boosters all the way up because I had a bunch that I had saved for, for a long time. You can see over there a triple icon on the right side. Uh, that means that I had the three boosters. That's why my car is performing relatively well. Um, but those are time. You're gonna see right here in the next screen, this one, that they have a timer. So I understand that some people want to save their boosters. So it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna finish this race and waste another 45 seconds because boosters usually are like five minutes, 10 minutes. I had the one hour ones, but yeah, when you're trying to save some time, you might quit some race because you know, it's, it's just not gonna work and you're just wasting the, the time left on the booster. Now this other race started actually really quickly, but for other ones, I'm just gonna edit the video a little bit to remove those uh, loading times or those in between races because it really takes sometimes quite a bit in order for you to get the next race. And here's another example of the McLaren, look at him, go. The acceleration on that, on that car is just ridiculous. And the Lamborghini Veneno at the rank that I have, which is almost the max rank that it's uh, possible, uh, you encounter a lot of these, these cars. So they're really fast on acceleration. Their general speed is it's pretty good. But um, the Veneno has this thing where I believe the Nitro lasts a little longer. So overall, in a really long track like this one, uh, the McLaren doesn't do really well. Th those cars are much better for smaller, smaller tracks with a lot more curves. So this one that has a lot of uh, long straights, the McLaren can suffer a little bit. Not always. And a really good uh, McLaren driver is just still gonna win the race. But in this case, I got a little lucky. But right here, I noticed that it was actually a two-lap race. So it's like, ah, shit. Now I gotta save my nitro because it's not the same when you start with the two nitro bars than when you do the second lap and you only have like half of one. Bit of a mess. Flat spin right there, but no big deal. And I'm doing so many flat spins. You usually lose a bit of speed when you do a flat spin, but I'd rather lose that speed for a little bit and gain the additional nitro when you're doing them. And at this point I had a huge lead, so I was sure that I was going to win the race, but I was still trying to be really careful. It's one crash in one of these crazy corner corners, and that's, that's it. Oh, sweet victory. And in some races like this, I leave the scoreboard a little bit just so that you can see which cars I was. I was racing and it's a McLaren MP48 that's the car that was in third place so that means that he is screwed up a little bit more during the, the rest of the race so anyway that was all right and just like you see over there by playing more you do get some boosters here and there like I said they're usually five minute minute plus boosters but they're used Now, right here, you're gonna see me picking a lot of these tracks, like Metal Garden and whatever those called purple tracks, because these were the latest um, tracks that were added into the game, and for the same reason, they're the, the the least practiced, you would say. And they have a lot of crazy corners. They're really confusing sometimes to the eye. They're very noisy, so sometimes it's hard to see where you're supposed to be going. Uh, so a lot of people don't seem to like them very much, and they don't pick them very often. And for the same reason, they haven't practiced all that much. However, uh, because I always know that that's a thing that happens, I, I just like to play them a lot. And for the same reason, I think I have a bit of an advantage. And on top of that, in this particular race, my opponents were not super crazy strong cars. So the Veneno, as I have it, the Veneno, um, it's pretty strong with the, with the triple boost. So at this point, you can see that I'm really far ahead, and I'm sure I'm not going to lose this one. Now right here I screwed it up because I was supposed to take this ramp to the right 
Um, but you know, I'm so far ahead that it's not a big deal. I'm definitely sure that I'm gonna win this race, so it doesn't really matter. And that's the thing with the game, sometimes you're just gonna notice right at the beginning that you're gonna win it just because you pull so far ahead, so quick. And I just let this run for a little bit to look at this Lamborghini because I've been in love with this car for a very long time since I saw, saw it in. I don't remember even what game. But then in this game I fought really hard in order to get it because it's a, it's a card that you can only get with a certain currency, uh, the token currency, which is drip, drip fed to you. And actually I get a little bit over here, right there, 10 tokens. So those things are really difficult to come by more now, but um, eventually after playing for a very long time, I got enough in order to buy it. So now I have it, and I spent a lot of in-game currency also to upgrade it and have it as strong as it is right now. It's still not the best car by any means. There's so many more that are much better. But, you know, I'm just in love with it, and I'm gonna use it just because I enjoy it. And also using the triple boost, well, it really helps. Right up before the race starts, you get to see your opponent right here. Or at least a few of them. And that kind of gives you an idea if you know which cars they are, of how difficult the race is gonna be. And even though I bumped the walls here and there a little bit, actually the performance I have on this particular track, it's, I consider it pretty, pretty good. And this has to do with the fact that I recently had to practice it a fair bit in, for some event that happened, I believe, last week. So it's still fresh in my memory what route to take and what jumps to take in order to maximize, or I guess minimize, the length of the race, or at least your lap. You know what I mean. I gotta love this little jump. And there we have it, another race that I won in first place, that's I don't know how many in a row. Like I was saying, I actually have been getting pretty lucky up to this point on finding cars that are not extremely difficult for my current car to see to beat. You can see even that some of them have triple boost and they were still no match to, to me. Then again, it's not always all about the boost. It also has to do with if you know the, the track, how comfortable you're with it or how uncomfortable the opponents are. And that's the reason why I like picking the purple ones so much because people just hate Play-Dohs. And right at the beginning, you can see right there the McLaren. And yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. You can see he pulls ahead right away and stays ahead just because the driver in this one is it's pretty good. However, the route that he just took over there, I don't love it, but you can see he's still considerably ahead of me. So it's a, it's a difficult route. I prefer to take the lower one. Uh, it's a bit slower, but I don't crash as often. Now right here I run out of nitro so i had to do a couple of stunts here and there in order to get it back i got a fair bit and actually i'm catching up to him you can see that he suddenly warped from one place to another uh, that seems to be just regarding to the networking of the game that sometimes the the thing doesn't update quick enough and, and my client updates suddenly and the car was actually farther ahead but right here he's still really far ahead and i'm like well i mean second place and then I noticed that there's this other car that took another route that apparently was shorter and pull ahead so now I'm third place and I still have another lap to go and I'm out of nitro pretty much so I either have to race perfect or just accept defeat and right here I try to do some spins but I mess it up and it slows me down so so much and at this point I'm completely aware that I'm gonna lose the race However, there's always the possibility that they mess up something themselves. At this point, I'm about in the second half of the lap. So I know that I'm not going to be able to win it. So I want to explore a little bit and figure out what's the other route that the guy took in order to pull ahead of me when I was in second place and suddenly he was, he was ahead of me. So I tried this route, however I'm not convinced that it's that much faster because there's so much air time and air time sometimes can be really bad in this game because it just slows you down. 
so I did not figure it out. I'm still far behind, and the lap is about to end. So I'm like, ah, okay, that's fine. So I'm just gonna do my usual. Oh, no, actually, I didn't do it in this race. Usually, I just like to crash my car right at the end because why not? And you can see over here is a McLaren and a Lamborghini Asterion, both triple boosted, that pulled ahead of me. And you can see that the rank is way ahead there in the Diamond League or whatever the hell that's called. So yeah, it's not a big surprise that they're really good racers and they know the routes really well. And then having the triple boost just really sealed the deal against me. And what's the first car we see is that McLaren, that goddamn McLaren. So I just pull to the side and let him fly by and hope that I can catch him at some point. And right here I try to pull this crazy turn, but I'm not able to, so instead I just go through, through the normal route and see what I can do. That McLaren is far ahead but he's driving kind of messily, so I have some hope that he's gonna crash somewhere. But right at this point, the race is about to end, and I know, yeah, it's not gonna happen, so it's fine, whatever. This is one of those cases where I was saying that the McLaren is fantastic in short tracks with a lot of, of turns in crazy curbs. And then the driver was really good. Well, maybe not fantastic, but proficient enough to not crash in the race. So yeah, that, there was no chance for me to win that one. And this is what I was saying that, you know, you're gonna lose a bunch of races and that's fine. So long as you come with that idea and you don't get too frustrated by it, you can just have a lot of fun with this game even if you're not paying anything for it. So, there's that. However, in this race, there's one, two McLarens. And that green car that I don't know what it is, but all of them just go so far ahead so quickly that I'm like, oh crap, it's gonna be one of those races. But then this guy just, <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but he lost control of the car. So that's one less dude to worry about. And it's at this point that I noticed that the McLarens are not as far ahead as I thought they would be. So I'm thinking there might be a chance. And then I start focusing on trying to pick all the nitro bottles that I can, because that's where I believe the difference is gonna be. If they just happen to run out of nitro and I'm focusing on keeping mine, I may just have a chance. But this is where I start really catching up to them. And there's three nitro, nitro portals, and I notice that one is going for the middle, the one for the right, so I aim for the one on the left, it works, and suddenly, I just completely go past one of them, the other one does that weird thing on the air, but I still have a bunch of nitro, so I have a good opportunity. Right here, however, I notice that I should not just go full nitro at this point, and so I start drifting a little bit to keep my nitro, then use it again, and this is where I really, really just pull ahead. And that guy actually just crashed, you can see it in the auto map right there on the, on the left corner. And yeah, the race is about to end and that's the first time that I win against two McLarens like that. Like I was saying, they're not fantastic in super long straights, so this was a good opportunity for me to just, not necessarily abuse, but you know, do a good job of keeping my nitro. And you can see over here that pretty much everybody was triple boosted, so beating two McLarens that were triple boosted, one of them in the Diamond League, that was our big win. And you can see actually the ELO, or whatever ranking system it has, gave me 15 points for that race alone. So that's, that's big. I felt proud on that one. So we have another race. And what do we have? You know it, another McLaren. I'm telling you, there are the super villains around this rank. You just find them and you know, oh, this is gonna be painful. Right around here, this Mercedes to my right pushes me and actually makes me almost lose control and almost crash right there. I just managed to somehow avoid that, but that was really, really damn close. Doing a bunch of jumps over here just to gain a bit of nitro back. And right here, I gained the second place because the McLaren that was behind me did something wrong, but then he responds and suddenly he just pulls ahead. 
However, I still have some Nitro, so there's a good opportunity for me right here. And actually, I want to commend him for not trying to just knock me down. But over here, he pushes me and, you know, I wasn't even trying, but he just pushed against me so hard that he wrecked himself. So like I said, just have some faith and maybe if you focus hard enough and you play well enough, you might be able to, to do something good. So second place, not too bad, considering that I was actually racing those McLarens. So that's a pretty good result against them. And right there you see that they're actually triple boosted too, so that's, that's even better. So that's in general a really good result. A bunch of triple boosted and I still made it in second place. That's, that's all right, I'll take it. That's a good result, I would say. And for the last one on this video, we have another Area 51 race. And what do we have? Yes, more McLaren. But here comes a little bit of a, an interesting thing. This is not a track I'm extremely familiar with. There's like four variations of each track. So it's kind of hard to keep track of which one you're doing. And right here, I do, I do an oopsie and I pick, I pick the wrong lane and on top of that I kind of crash into it. I don't wreck but definitely slow down and like I said this is really the worst lane that I could have picked so I'm already screwed. Since I'm already on last place I decide well let's try an experimental route and see if I get something out of it. So I take this lane down here, oh yeah sure I'll take this spinis because why not. But like I said, I'm not too familiar with this route, so what do I do? I crash. So this is more than seal. I know that I'm absolutely 100% losing this race in last. So you know, you just gotta accept the fact that sometimes you're just not gonna win. More than sometimes, very often. But again, you can really have a lot of fun with this game and I did and actually this is just the first half of this video because I played for about an hour so there's more to come at some other point but in this video there were so many wins so many good moments in the very last race I lose in fourth place and on that terrible disappointment it's time to end thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one